Twelve people are watching. Hi, everyone. Hello, everybody. How are you guys doing? This is just a trial run. We wanted to see how our session is uh, getting responded by people. So. So that's like always, true. We both always, are renew, right? Always a struggle, huh, to to get everything to order, especially exactly. online. Online, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that's better. So, do you see people joining in? Yes, fifteen people so far. Cool. Someone is saying hi, Asma. Hi, Asma. Rahul Sen Gupta. Hi, Rahul. I'm good. How are you? Let us know from where are you guys joining in because I'm I have joined in from Zurich and Deep is from you know Sydney, so please please comment below where where are you guys joining from. Yep, we want to have a wider audience, so it would be good if you can just tell us where you are from. And yeah. Yeah. So yeah, Jagannath is from Switzerland. I am from Australia. So yeah, we're just trying to. Help you guys in some ways, but Especially. first we have to help ourselves, you know, to exactly. fix this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Exactly. So why don't we read uh, some comments? Do you yeah, see yeah. some comments? Yeah. yeah. I'm reading the comments. Yeah. So mostly, hi, how are you? Kind of comments, and people are watching. So we can actually bring people on screen as well if we want. So. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Yeah. I hope everyone is going well with the corona situation, especially in India. How are you, Jagannath, with the corona situation? Is it getting better? Yeah, I'm doing coping up well. Uh, yeah. I mean, cases are increasing apparently in Zurich. Yeah. Uh, I think day before yesterday or yesterday we had 400 cases uh, uh, per day, like uh, in yeah. a single day. Which is the highest uh, after April, I guess. Yep. So yeah, but yeah, we'll see. Mask are are wearing masks are compulsory. Yeah, in public places, in shopping malls, in train trams, you know, public transportation. Yeah, I started going to work. Yes. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's good. Long back. Yeah. How I think in Australia. A, yeah, pretty much the same thing in Australia as well. We are just trying to uh, maintain social distancing. We are going to work and. Uh, the, the, okay. the lab experiments and everything, but mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, it's very limited at the moment, and uh, we're just trying to get back to normal. But uh, yeah, the cases are not that bad in yeah. uh, Sydney and New South Wales, but in mm -hmm. Queensland, it's uh, it's pretty pretty bad at the moment. So we just okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I think eleven yeah. people are online, and someone from. Uh, Tafreen Ahmed from Mongolia, Assam. Uh, Hi, Tafreen. Yeah. Hi, Tafreen. She just, start, she just uh, joined us. Yep. Okay. So maybe we'll start, right? Exactly. I, I'm just trying to post this in my, you know, profile. Yeah. Yeah. Just and that, and yeah. We'll start. And then we'll see if these things work. Yeah. Yeah, done. Can you see how many people are online as well? I do not see, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, please tell us where you are from. And um, yeah, so we want to know the demographics and. Um, yeah, we actually want to 
see how like the audience where they are from basically so that we can answer their questions and please feel exactly. free to please yeah. feel free to comment on in english uh, hindi or assamese or bengali we'll try to answer them uh, yes yes but why don't we just start you know we just tell them why right. are we all here today and what we are going to talk about and what is this yes. science this thing you know yes 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 so yeah, yeah let's start i think so exactly hi everyone uh, this one this session is actually called the science dj i'll just give you a little bit of background why it's called science dj uh, it's actually uh, d stands for deep and j stands for jagannath and we both are actually we work as a uh, scientist uh, in in australia and switzerland respectively and uh, we we actually thought that this kind of this session would be helpful for you in terms of uh, getting into a phd for example or if you are like debating whether to uh, start a career in science or whether to pursue science for higher education or not so we will try to clarify those doubts uh, to like best as best as we can uh, based on our experiences so yeah just uh, these are general advice um, so so yeah please just uh, we'll, we are trying to help yeah, you yeah i think we both share very unique experiences right you are exactly. you are exposed to the australian education system i am more into you know uh, exposed to the swiss, swiss system of education so yeah. i think we can bring together our expertise and our experiences in this platform to you know yeah. to give bring the awareness and tell people you know how they can even apply for a phd program and uh, what to do what not to do things right exactly exactly and uh, with this science dj we thought we think that you know we'll come up with uh, topics every yeah. every sunday or every alternate sunday at the same time so that you you is sunday afternoons right easy Yes. So just be casual. Ask whatever doubts you have, and then we can, you know, try to answer your queries. Exactly. What do you think, Deep? Yeah. Yes. I think that's that's brilliant. Uh, that's exactly what I wanted to say. Anyway. So it's, yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's basically very casual. So don't think that you can't ask. There's no um, such question that you should not ask. You know, as I like in terms of all these doubts. as i remember when we started our journey like after our masters for example we had yeah. like very little guidance right so we had no idea where what to do how to do so i think i think these sessions will help you guys in terms of um, uh, in terms of in that, like getting to that direction where we, mm-hmm. we yeah based on our experiences basically and um, yeah um, i met jagannath in uh, drl labs as you know that's in tejpur uh, assam and so i was doing my masters uh, research project and jagannath was doing his uh, bachelor's you correct me if i'm wrong ba- bachelor's thesis yeah yeah yes yeah. so you were doing your uh, bachelor's project so that's how we first met and then we became friends and then we shared a lot of uh, experiences actually in terms of applying for phd's abroad writing papers and stuff like that yeah we so, have a book together exactly. and now we'll we have a paper together. together yeah so it's a yes. really good uh, we have seen each other uh, struggling and then growing uh, and still yeah. growing of course like you know there's never an end so it's, exactly. it's, it's amazing and, and whenever can... i'm in doubt i'll just reach out to deep and i'll ask hey deep i don't know this you know how to do can you just send me yeah, and exactly. he has been yeah, rock solid support for me you know i mean it's it's vice versa right so a, we, yeah. you do the same thing for me as well so i think Try communication <laughs> communication is the key here so you have to yeah. communicate Uh, exactly and that's why i think we encourage our you know viewers our listeners to communicate transparently just tell us you know what you want to know from our experiences what yeah. do you want to listen from us you know and we'll be trying to cater to your needs and questions i guess yeah. and uh, with the science dj i think the aim is to re- again to mention that we want to create the awareness in the field of science and education exactly. you know especially in higher education you know we both work as scientists but it's we're common guys you know so mm-hmm. the myth that scientists are different has to be unique has to be really you know smart i think we have to really resolve those issues and we should yep. talk about these things and how you can you really direct your passion in the scientific field right in Absolutely. science science education and if you are in the right track if you prepare your application in a, you know uh right man or probably you'll get into a very good university with scholarships so yeah. this kind of things we want to discuss and share with you so if you have any questions please you know write down to us and uh, why don't you uh, deep talk about you know 
our backgrounds like why don't you share what oh, yeah. kind of research do you do and how did you land in sydney yep 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 okay so my um, the whole journey actually began when i started my bachelor's right like uh, but at that time as as my post also says that when you are doing your bachelor's or even masters for that matter you actually don't know most of the times that what to do you know in terms of uh, your career whether to pursue research whether to go work at a, a biotech or pharmaceutical company or things like that so my bachelor's was in biotechnology so i did my bachelor's from uh, bangalore university and um, at that time of course i was doing it because i like doing like like uh, studying science I, and i i found it quite easy as well so i and i was enjoying it so the the key is to enjoy things right then after my bachelor's i i went to vit which is vellore institute of technology uh, in vellore and uh, i did my masters in microbiology there and um, at that time actually i kind of knew that what i wanted to do but i did get a chance to go to germany to um to attend uh, like a graduate training program and that's when i knew that uh, i actually want to do more uh, research and study uh, more and pursue higher education and um, so i was looking into uh, different uh, countries to do my phd in and i came across this uh, scholarship from university of newcastle australia at the time and um, and yeah and like i i thought that uh, the project that they were offering were, qu- were quite interesting so my uh, my phd is basically on cancer anti cancer um drug development so i really found that a uh, whole um, aspect of uh, biological science is very interesting so i thought that i would in, uh, actually uh, contact a potential supervisor from university of newcastle who would be able to help me with my application process and also able to give me positive feedback or negative feedback constructive feedback basically so so that i can improve my application in that way um so yeah i mean i actually contacted dr professor chris carlet uh, who is so like ho- a- hold on to your thought you know like yeah, because yeah. this is the key this is very important we have to really exactly. elaborate the process right how yep. do you approach a professor yep. you know so that he can you know hire you for his one of his projects and you can yes. be hired as a phd student and you can also at the same time pursue your passion exactly. and the scientific research interest right so yep. this is very inter- interesting yeah please go yep. on yeah If yeah, I think, I think yeah, we are probably going to elaborate more in the next session about like how to go about, you know, looking for PhD and contacting people and things like that. Uh, but right. yeah, for yeah. me, it was uh, I basically read a lot, you know, about about the certain professor. So in my case, it was uh, Professor Chris, Chris Carlet, and um, and found that actually we were in terms of our profile, like his his area of interest was was. quite matching with what i wanted to do and i had little bit of background as well and little bit of scientific uh, research experience too uh, so i just contacted him and told him that you know this is what uh, i'm at um, after i want to do my phd um, uh, under your guidance and uh, uh, this is my profile i have published this much and all that uh, and then uh, like you know he said yeah of course like uh, just give it a go and i should tell you that these scholarships are extremely competitive uh, so there right? yeah. yes yes oh my god yes, I, i i felt like i got really lucky at the time but uh, at the same but time i have I seen your struggle i have seen your pain right i mean like exactly. you, you, you oh, prepared yeah. your application for like at least for 3 years right exactly. i mean you were exactly. like yeah oh it's so. a process it's a process that you have to get used to and also like if if you are interested to do of course like uh, if you're not interested in pursuing science then it's not a question anymore yeah. but Yeah yeah so that whole process is like uh, and I, as i said before we didn't have any proper guidance at the time so we had very little guidance of course we had like amazing um uh, supervisors for our masters and everything but when it comes to abroad there were very little at that time information even o- online there were very little information so i thought that you know it will be jagannath can you hear me I think we are having a technical difficulty, guys. I 
Hi, Jaya. Yes, sorry. I, sorry. Hi. I, I got disconnected. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's all right. So yeah, yeah. All newbies, right? So yeah. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. So I was just yeah. telling people that um, it's it's a process that you have to uh, understand, and then yeah, I think we'll explain it in our you know like this is just an introductory session, right? Like yep. from next week onwards, we'll be really specific and pinpoint uh, the steps we need to you know follow for preparing our application package. So yep. that will be our first kind of episode. In yeah. the science DJ live Facebook live session, right? Exactly, exactly. Yeah, so we'll really uh, discuss about these things. Yeah. So on the other hand, my journey was different, right? I came here for a master's. Yeah. Right. You you knew that you wanted to do a PhD and you went for it. Mm. Uh, I was bored, you know, or like kind of a tired working in a company, so I wanted to change. Uh, I wanted to get a change, and mm. I thought, okay, why not master's now? Uh, so I applied for a master's program and I got into University of Zurich yep. for a master's of science in environmental sciences. And I met some amazing people here, like my friends, my peers, my colleagues. They really motivated me to you know, yeah. pursue a PhD career, right? PhD is the next degree program. Mm -hmm. So I appeared for a fellowship, mm. Marie Curie fellowship. Yeah. I went to UK. Mm. I stayed there for almost a year. Mm. I did not like the project. I mm. left the project. I came back again to Switzerland for yeah. a, uh, and I applied. I applied for a PhD position here and luckily I got selected and I started, you know, pursuing my PhD. Yeah. And now I'm doing my postdoc. It's been a long time. Yes. And you know, last year, like la yesterday, uh, was the eighth year uh, or eighth year anniversary when I left Assam. So I was yep. like, wow, it's been a long time, you know. Exactly. It was 5th of September 2012 when I left, you know, uh, Naga for Zurich. Of mm. course, I'm visiting every year, you know, more than two times or three times, mm. But, mm. Say, but leaving home and then you know, coming to Europe, uh, uh, eight years, it's a long journey. Oh, yeah. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so me. yeah, I pursue uh, like environmental sciences, most specifically environmental geochemistry. That's my research interest. And uh, I look at nutrients and contaminants in different environmental matrices and try to understand uh, in a molecular level perspective uh, how nutrient, for example, iron and or contaminant, for example, arsenic will be mobile or circulate uh, among different environmental compartments. Yeah. Right, so that's my recent interest. But while I was doing my higher secondary or even my bachelor's, I did not know even that this program, this kind of program exists, right? Mm, mm. So we tried to figure out what we should do. Mm. But nowadays, I think with a tip, tip of your finger, uh, you know, like uh, you get all the information and you, you know what you can do, or where to go. But at the same time, you should know what right questions to ask yourself. Because yeah. asking yourself why you want to pursue a PhD, where you want to pursue a PhD, how do you want to lead your life during your PhD yeah. are very you know, important questions. And a little bit of planning and strategy, I think, help a student you know, to uh, run a longer kind of marathon. Mm. What do you say? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Right? Absolutely. It's all yeah. about strategic planning. You know, you have to plan accordingly, and uh, yeah, I think I think uh, for me also it was uh, it has been six years, more than six years in Australia. So I came in two thousand fourteen, and uh, yeah, yeah. Now I'm working as a postdoctoral scientist at uh, Western Sydney University, uh, Nikam Health Research Institute, and I'm actually pursuing my passion for um, anti-cancer research and antimicrobial research. And um, yeah, I think. Um, I think yeah, as you said, it's 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 a pro, um, the whole planning is actually important, especially when it comes to applying for a PhD, and then you know, and you have to like your project as well, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You have to be really motivated. You know, and it has to be inspiring. I mean, keeping your motivation alive for the next four to five years is very important. Exactly. And if you get frustrated or annoyed in mid mm. of the process, then it will be really depressing experience. So just to smooth her, just to give you a better experience, you know, give yourself a better experience, you really have to figure out what's your passion and what field do you want to study, you know. So guys, why don't you write yourself write in the comment section what kind of field you are looking for to go uh, for your higher studies, even for master's or PhD. Please leave a comment so that we know yeah. what kind of, you know, uh, field you want to uh, go for, uh, which country do you want to go for? You know, so if you don't know, it's fine. But still, you know, probably you have given a thought, wild thought, rough thought, it's fine. Just tell us 
where do you want to go? What kind of, you know, program you want to join in so that we come prepared next time uh, to give you proper guidance, right? Yes, what yes. do you think? Absolutely. Just send yeah. your questions or regarding higher education, be that PhD, Master of Research, MPhil, uh, and we'll try to answer them as best as we can. And um, yeah, I mean, just comment uh, under the video so that we'll have it on record and we can answer it better in a better way next time. Uh, to specific yeah. questions, and as I said before, you don't does it. Um, the question doesn't have to be in English. You can send your question in Assamese, Hindi, Bengali. Uh, exactly. आप लोग अगर हिंदी में लिखना चाहते हो, हिंदी में बात करना चाहते हो, हम लोग हिंदी में प्रेजेंट हैं, हम लोग हिंदी में एड्रेस करने के लिए तैयार हैं, हम लोग हिंदी में बात करेंगे। और हमें कोई साइल और हमें पोस्ट ना खुदा, और हमें लिखो, और हमें आमी दूसरे पौधे बजाने, और हमें आमी उत्तर � निहोंकुस भाबेरे निजार बुली भाभी पसन्द हो थक और आमी निजार बुली भाभी उत्तर बुली बोले रेडी हो जाए सुकान अमी दिजोनी जानु नॉर्थ सिस्टर और हमार आमी त्यान दिन जुती टेस्ट पूरा मौन आऊँगा और आमी दिजोनी जानु कि मान डिफिकल्ट ऐतरा जानी बाहियोत कोरी बोले राइट आमी फाइनेंशियली अमी बिसार इसे नॉर्थ सिस्टर जिम्मा बोल रहा सिलिया से हॉकल वे आग बही आहोक बाहर ले आहोक उठिया हॉक राइट अरे अमी तेरे को प्रमोट कर रहा हूँ जैसे गाइडेंस ऐटा दी बा पारो अमार एक्सपीरियंस भी शेयर को ले अमार भल्ले जी पर राइट या एक्सेक्टली या सो या अपना कर जी कुनो ढोने क्वेश्चन � I think notice that बहुत है जगन्नाथ के कुआनी से ना के notice that बहुत आह मैं बहुत messages actually पाऊँ जगन्नाथ आरु मॉन and sometimes आमी आमी कितिया बार उन्हें answer दिवो पारु कितिया बार busy था का कारण answer दिवो नुआरो है कारण आमी भाभीलो जाए नहीं को आटा live session तो नहीं start कर जोर actually one on one interaction basically so कोई वो पारु सो बोलो गोटे so ये तो एक main idea आरु या अखमिया हिंदी जिकुनो लैंग्वेजेस जस्ट पोस्ट करो कामी अमी हे लैंग्वेज और अकॉर्डिंगली अपनों को आंसर दी बोले ट्राई करो किंतु ता या शो किंतु ता स्ट्रक्चर ऐटा मी दिया तो उसी राइटिंग राइट एंड साइंस डीजे ऐटा लाइक फेसबुक लाइव सेशन एवरी संडे बाय एवरी ऑल्टरनेट संडे अमी कंडक्ट कोई मैं कहता हम आए थे आज ही इंट्रोडक्शन आज ही है कि ना मैं इनफॉरमली नो जस्ट चिट्टर कोई सो नेक्स्ट वीक और प्रा मैं फेरी स्पेसिफिकली किस्मत टॉपिक एड्रेस कोई एंड व्हाई डोंट वी शेयर द टॉपिक्स व्हाट वी यू वांट डिस्कस इन कमिंग यू नो वीक्स आई थिंक वी लाइक हैव अ वेरी रफ आइडिया एट द मोमेंट वी � do this based on like the interaction and the questions right so in general we want to we want to address like how to um, prepare yourself for a phd in in um overseas so if you are if you are interested to do your phd overseas how to prepare the application how to approach a professor um how to write a paper even that for that matter so those things we will answer um so that's that's the rough idea at the moment but based on your yeah. questions we will actually uh, formulate the sessions. Yeah, so exactly. So one episode will cover, you know, your application process, the package you have to prepare, your CV, your research statement, your motivation statement, and what content you really need to write. Don't be fake. You know, like we often think and talk about, you know, we have to avoid being vague and we have to be specific. But how to be specific? You know, mm -hmm. when you when you have very broad research interest, right? Yeah. When you know you are good at this, you want to do that, you know, so then how do you channel your interest and the scope uh, in a one application form, right? So exactly. these kind of things we'll discuss in one episode. Perhaps in the second one, we'll discuss how the PhD journey itself looks like. Yeah. PhD, actually, PhD is not like a PhD, but we have a key skill developer, we have a key opportunity to love our university facility, research group of facility, we have a key benefit to have a key benefit, the PhD journey to be able to discuss. So the episode two or three probably will be, you know, about the PhD life, itself mm. right yeah and then we'll go on how to you know get a job perhaps after phd and how to be you know like uh i don't know how to get uh, uh, how to write applications after phd for industrial job for yeah. example uh, yeah. for a postdoctoral position right what are the grant possible fellowship you can apply to pursue a postdoc so the uh, the episode will unfold 
uh, over time. But so far, we have this rough idea. And please let us know in the comment section what kind of you know topic you want us to cover, yeah. so that we are uh, yeah we know we do our homework, right? Exactly. Yeah. Absolutely. Are you um, please uh, comment? Korok, I will share Korok video to Zodi Apunu to Habeza Kunuba, Apuna friend who is also interested to do similar things. So share with them. We will try exactly. To, yeah, we'll actually yeah. make this post public as well, this whole video public, um, yeah. so that you can share it. And um, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, we do agree. We do know that you know this video might not be interesting for everybody. Yes. So I think at the same time, you perhaps know someone who is you know trying to go out uh, uh, to go abroad for a PhD or for a master's program, probably why don't you tag him or her yeah. so that they can get benefited with this kind of, you know, exactly. interactive sessions. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think, I think that's about it. I think we gave enough introduction. So do you, exactly. So do you have any comments? Like I don't see comments here, but uh, uh, if you read any comments. Uh, just a second. I'm just trying to check. Um, sorry. I'm just giving you like extreme close ups. No worries. Um, okay, so we have some. So, Bornov Sorma. So, he's saying, Hello, sir. I would like to know being in master's program, how do we, uh, the students, make ourselves eligible for the doctoral programs abroad? Or how should we furnish our CVs um, to get enrolled? So yeah, I mean that's that's basically the whole session is all about, right? So we are yeah. The next to... session, I think, gonna yes. be on this topic. Yeah, yes, yeah. Yes. So, so stay are... tuned for next Sunday, yes. right? At so the same we, time. Yeah, we will yeah. answer your yeah. question, um, Bornov, uh, in in the next. Yeah. By the way, I mean, like Bornov, you are already eligible if you have a master's, you know, with a yeah. first class degree. Then you you are already eligible for a PhD program. Yeah. You know, now the point is, are you you know getting admitted into the PhD program? You know. So for that purpose, you are you have to polish your application. Yeah. But uh, as for eligibility, uh, he is eligible. I mean, if you're a master's, yes, yes. Then definitely, definitely. I think yeah. some some programs do ask for a little bit of research background as well. Uh, so I'm guessing yeah. most uh, master's program in India will have a research component. Uh, so yeah, I think that will. Uh, so yeah, we we will we will actually interact with you, Bornog, uh, in the next uh, session as well about um, like discussing these things in detail. And then Nisha Kashyap actually says that uh, she finds this um, session very um, useful. Thank you, Nisha. And, yeah, thank you, Nisha. Yeah, yeah. and um, yeah, I think that's, that's the whole essence of, the, or essence of our message. And she's like a PhD aspirant as well. Uh, so yeah, Nisha, just stay tuned. And uh, we will, if you have any questions, just post them and we will try to answer them. Yes, right. I think I haven't missed anything. But yeah, I, I will um, make this video available on my profile and make it public so that um, you guys can share it if you want with your friends uh, or anyone you know who might be interested. And then we can go from there, I think. Oh, uh, yeah, that sounds fantastic. Yeah. I'm looking forward, you know, at yeah. least for next four sessions yeah. where we have more audience, we have, where we are more interactive and we interact with students, aspirants, you know, and we share our experiences, we know from them uh, what they are looking for. Yeah. Right? And also, if so we... let's not prolong this video yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and give that's... them a rest, Sunday nap, probably yeah. they are looking for. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. And uh, yeah, if you want to see us on multiple platforms, do let us know as well. We are just trying to figure out the whole process of going live on multiple platforms. Um, so yeah, I mean, yeah, just let exactly. us know. Yeah, yeah, our Facebook is more than enough. Yeah, yeah. You can tell us that as well. Um, so yeah, and yeah. Um, have a sure. good good Sunday, everyone, and keep safe. Uh, maintain yeah, social have a lovely distancing. Sunday. Maintain social yeah. distancing. Thank you. Dave. Yeah, and thanks, uh, thanks, yeah. Jagannath, for joining in. Thank thanks you. a lot. Yeah. Bye. Bye, everybody. Ciao.